Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm the director of Bakhtar Rock Music School in Wellesley. Let me show you around. So when you walk in, this is our main stage room. Um, we do a lot of programs in here. We do birthday parties. We do our band program in here. Anything that is a big kind of group thing, um, that is how we are in this room. So we have a stage right here. We have our big piano and then a bunch of seats that we pull out for birthday parties. What kind of events do you have in here? Um, so we have, if we have any events like an open house, um, if we have any um, camps, if we have any parties, it's all of that kind of stuff. And do you have classes in here? Sometimes, it depends on the size of the program. Sometimes we also have fun with music in here, which is a sample pack kind of a class. It's a 10 week session and you do two new instruments every week. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. And so this is our lobby. So usually we got both our admin people over here to help with anything that you guys need. And then there's a lesson in here right now, but this is our early childhood room. So there are six pianos in here for our kids and keys class. Um, that is for ages five to seven. And we also do our Rock City program, which is ages three to five. And if you keep going this way, it's a little bit messy right now, but that's okay. So we have our recording studio. Ooh. So for birthday parties or for anybody that wants to rent the space out, um, we have a recording studio. So we have mics on the drums, on the piano, um, and that's kind of in the corner where we edit everything. Um, a lot of the times for birthday parties, the kids get to record what they worked on throughout the party, and it's super cool, and they get a recording at the end. So What's over here? Right in here is actually our viewing room. It's our old studio, but this is so we can group, um, split into two different groups. Uh -huh. So if the party has 20 kids, we can have 10 in here and 10 in here, and then they switch. Okay. Um, they like to be able to see each other through the window. They have all the controls in there? Um, so all the controls are right here right okay. now. Um, and this is more so just like a storage area, okay. but um, the kids and the parents can watch what's going on in here, which is really cool. Very good. Okay. Yeah. And if we go over this way, um, these are four different practice rooms. They have different things in each room. So the room that you're in right now is our Justin Timberlake room. We teach piano and guitar in that room. Right here is the Roots room. So we have double piano, which we're putting together right now since we have more students coming back. This room is our Amadeus DJ room. So obviously it is also a closet right now, but when our students come back in September for DJ, we do DJ lessons on Wednesdays uh -huh. and all students get their own setup. So they have a laptop, speaker, headphones, and a Serato mixing board. And that is where they would learn the program on. Cool. Yeah. What's the name of the program? Uh, this would be the DJ program. No, I mean the, oh, I mean, is there a software program that these machines use or something? Oh, so we use the Serato boards and that connects to our BeatSource um, ah. accounts. That's how you can learn to transition and mix between different songs and build your own set. Very cool. Yep. And then right in here is our Ray Charles room. This is mostly for voice students and piano. Um, the reason why we have a mirror is so the voice students can watch their bodies as they're singing and make sure that they're using the right techniques. If it's the Ray Charles room, do you ever do it with lights out? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's a good idea. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then if you come this way, obviously there's more posters all throughout the school of mm -hmm. different famous musicians. Inspiration. Yeah. And so if we go into this room, this is our Maroon 5 room. Uh. Um, right now we have a drum set in here and a piano, and we also do bass guitar lessons in this room. Uh, is this Marine Fo Maroon 5 approved? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously we also have some guitars hanging on the wall, so you can do guitar in here as well. And then our last room is our double drum room, which is the favorite for drum students because the teachers can play and the student can play at the same time. So we got two full sets here. And because it gets so loud back here, we have two speakers so the students can learn to play with backing tracks as well. Ah, very nice. And Led Zeppelin is the inspiration. Oh, yes. Yeah, every room in the school is named after either a famous musician or a famous band, which is really cool. Very good. Yeah. Right. So you do all ages here, too? We start at age three. So mm -hmm. our, we have an early ed program from three to seven. And then starting at ages seven and up is when we do private. Okay, but we do have adults though. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have, 
I would say maybe just five or six adults right now, but mm -hmm. any age is welcome as long as it's over the age of seven for private. I was here a long, long time ago. I said they actually had like a, you put the, the adults together to make a band. <laughs> oh, yeah. So our rock band program, essentially what we do is we take the information and the availability of people who are interested and we match them with other kids or adults. Mm -hmm. um, similar experience level, similar age, so they mesh well together and then they get to do various performances throughout the year. So we have Baca Palooza and we have Battle of the Bands where we compete against all the bands in the school and across all the Bach Rocks nationally, which is super fun. Wow, that's great. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Anything else we should know? Um, well, right now we're enrolling for our fall programs and our spots are filling up pretty quick. So if anybody's interested, feel free to stop by the school at any time that we're open. Um, and you can also register on our website, bachtrock.com slash wealth.